Well, in my uh, last video, I had mentioned uh, that I had gotten into Stachahatchee and uh, was, uh, I got caught aground. Uh, I dropped anchor in a shallow area and by the time I got up in the morning, the tide had gone out and I was actually sitting on the bottom. Uh, after uh, about 15, 20 minutes of sitting here, I realized, well, I got Zito or uh, Towboat US, so I figured I'd call them and see if they could help me out, and they did. They came out and pulled me out. Uh, as you can see, the towboat is coming in now. Uh, you can see it uh, right over there. Uh, he couldn't get very close to me because obviously he'd run aground too. So what he did is uh, he mentioned to me if I had a fishing rod, uh, just throw him a line or put a weight on the fishing line and throw it to him. Uh, it took me several times to get it to him, but he finally was able to grab the line with the hook and pull me out. Uh, that's that's what you saw in the last video. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm still here in Stachahatchee is because um, after coming in here and looking around, I fell in love with the place, especially this new marina right here that just opened up. Uh, I stayed here three days. Um, uh, everything beautiful marina. Uh, it's got floating docks. Uh, although he said we were out of season right now, so none of the docks were full. But he says when the fishing tournament starts up and, and, and the season begins, he'll have all these docks that you see in the background there completely full. You, there'll be no empty spaces. They also have these pontoon boats right here that belong to the marina and they rent them out uh, the day i arrived uh here they were running them out for as they had a special running and they were running them out for a hundred dollars for the whole day so for a hundred dollars you could have rented out this pontoon boat taking a whole bunch of people on board the only thing you had to do was when it got back is they would fill it up back back up with fuel so you paid the price of the fuel and a hundred dollars uh that was a good deal uh such a good deal that most of these boats went out this is still in the morning here most of these boats were out and and out and about they did have a couple of fishing boats also that they ran out uh, but for the majority for the hundred dollars a day uh, for one of these boats which is which is eight hours uh, they couldn't beat that deal, so everybody was taking advantage of that. And a lot of these boats went out this morning. Uh, here I am uh, in the space that they gave me to tie up and to stay. And like I said, I stayed here three days. I love the place. Beautiful place. Uh, brand new marina. Uh, it only been open a few months. Uh, so it hadn't gone a whole year yet uh, with it being open. Uh, but I, I did a walk around and a walk through of everything of the marina. Uh, it, it was so nice that I had to, I had to show, you know, show the marina off. As you can see, it's a three story building right there. They have a patio on the bottom floor, which has, uh, uh, tables. As you can see there, they got tables and then they have a bar. And they have a bunch of a um, TVs, so you can watch games. Uh, now, this this at the at the time I was here and the time I'm filming now is 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 there's a whole big difference here. Okay, um, I've already completed my trip and I'm sitting here editing and posting and making sure that I post the whole trip. So I'm. Um, from here, I'm only probably two more videos away from posting Tampa Bay. So uh, this was this was actually done in uh, I, when I was here in Stachahatchee. This was actually in if I'm not mistaken. Well, it was the day before Halloween is the day because the next day they were going to have a Halloween costume. Uh, contest here uh, 
but for right now, for today, which is the day before Halloween, that's when this was filmed. Uh, I'm already home, though. So by the time you see the posting, I, I was already home. I'm already home posting it. But here's the second floor here of the building here. And this is a, a an unbelievable, large, huge store here. Uh, anything you can think of, uh, they probably had as far as when it comes to fishing or boating or anything else. Uh, this place was so huge that um, I tell you what, I, I went down, up and down the aisles uh, where they had all the fishing gear. If there is something that you're looking for and they don't have it here in this marina, then they just don't make it. It's plain and simple because uh, just in a few minutes here, you're going to see the rows and the, how many rows of fishing equipment these guys got in here. Every lure that you can probably think of is here, okay? Uh, here's the view looking from the windows outside. You can see uh, why not right there on, on the docks. Uh, and then that's the top of the tiki bar right there where, where all these leaves are. Uh, but anyway, I, I walked around through the store. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of lures. I mean, everything you could think of they've got here when it comes to fishing there there's nothing that you're not gonna like i said if you don't find it here they don't make it plain and simple uh look at this huge wall back here everything full of lures here every kind of lure that you can think of every kind of reel that you could think of any kind of rod that you can think of they had them uh uh i asked i asked for a particular uh Abu Garcia rod and at first I thought yeah they're not gonna have that and they sure did have it uh, so it, it, it I didn't I wasn't into buying it I just knew it that particular rod was pretty well known rod for fishing uh, and as you can see the building is like brand new it is brand new they just opened it up so everything in here was beautiful nicely laid out uh, they had people here fishing and or shopping and buying shirts and everything and then this is toward the end of the evening here as the sun started to go down um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, at the time uh, uh, later on tonight they had a band playing here uh, so instead of filming the band uh, that was here I decided to go ahead and and I'm gonna post this video here and and right after that I'm gonna post a video of the actual band playing so you can hear the sound and everything right now I've cut the uh, the regular sound out so that I can go ahead and narrate this uh, so you can't hear any of the background noise right now or you can't hear the band playing right now either uh, but here uh, of course everybody was walking out and lining up along the wall here to watch the sunset as it's going down uh, anywhere you know you got a view like this you're going to find people out there taking pictures and walking around and praying to the sun gods as they do in Key West you know um, they, they do that in Key West they pray for it to come up they pray for it to come back down so uh, anyway this was just part of the of that night, that evening. Uh, and then here I am the, the following, after two, two days of sitting around here, this is the third day here. Actually, it's the fourth day now, and I'm, I'm actually leaving Stachahatchee now uh, and heading south uh, on the Gulf. Uh, but because I have a shallow draft, I'm not going out too far out into open water. I'm staying within, oh, three or four miles of land so that I'm, I'm not that far out in case something should happen that my engine should shut down or something. Um, like I said, I use uh, Boat US is what I've used. And I can't say enough about that. Uh, I've had Boat US for eight, nine years now. Uh, don't always use them. Uh, 
but at $149 a year for the membership, all you need is one tow, and you not only got your money back, but you got money to pay for the next uh, five or six years of Boat US or Boat US tow or sea tow, either one. The price the, the, the price for to mem to be a member is the same. Uh, but I received when I was in Wisconsin when I had engine problems, I received a bill uh, for towing services of thirteen hundred and eighty dollars. And uh Boat US paid that bill, okay? Uh, because there was not a boat US around close by me that could come pick me up and take me to uh, Sturgeon Bay. They went ahead and told me to go ahead and find someone who was not a boat US member but could tow me to Sturgeon Bay and that they would cover the expense. So I ended up finding a guy in Green Bay, Wisconsin who towed me to Sturgeon Bay, charged me $1,350, I think. I uh, put that on my credit card, I submitted it to Boat US the next day, and within 48 hours, I had that money back into my account. So, you can't go wrong. I can tell you right now, I, I live by Boat US or CETO, either one. If you love boating, you have a boat, you go out a lot, uh, it, it's an it's invaluable. I mean, I use, like I said, I use them to to tow me out when I grounded myself, when I uh, when I dropped anchor in shallow water and I ended up grounding my boat, they came and they towed me out. Uh, they also towed me when uh, when I broke down in Wisconsin, and before that I had a another boat in Tampa Bay that uh, also started. I started having problems with it, but it was running so slow that I decided I'm better off to get boat U.S. to tow me, and they towed me from inside Tampa Bay all the way around out to Clearwater. Uh, I got an invoice of $1,680 for that day, uh, and boat U.S. paid that bill. So you can imagine at $149 a year, how many times would it take, you know, how many years can you pay that after getting a bill for sixteen hundred dollars and you don't have to pay it, so if if you're a boater and you love water, hey, you can't go wrong with either of the services. They're basically both the same. Boat U.S. and uh, and Cito are kind of the same boats. In some areas, you only have Cito. Some other areas, you only have Boat U.S. But either way, uh, Boat U.S. under their contract. Uh, plainly states that if they don't have a boat in that area, you can hire a private contractor towing service to tow you uh, to safety or tow you to a mechanic's place or whatever. And uh, they will cover the bill, which is what they did when I was in uh, Green Bay, in the bay there. Uh, like I said, I got a bill for $1,350 or something like that. And I used my credit card to pay it, but within 48 hours, I had my money back in my account. That's how fast Boat US took, I mean, paid back the money, put back the money into my account. But anyway, here we are. We're going out on the channel here, and we're heading out. Uh, this is after three days of sitting in, in, in Stachahatchee, and I got to admit, it's a beautiful little marina there. It's the very first marina you kind of go into as you're coming in. Uh, it's brand new. Uh, and uh, I know most boaters that are doing the Great Loop normally will take off from Carabelle, Florida, and shoot across the Gulf to, uh, to Tarpon Springs or to Newport Ritchie. Uh, instead of instead of coming across to here to Stachahatchee. Uh, that that requires to do that crossing that requires an overnight stay. Uh, some of them will take a shot down to Cedar Key and then from Cedar Key go down to Tarpon Springs the next day uh, so they don't travel overnight. Some of them do drop anchor 
uh, out in the out in the Gulf and stay overnight and take off the next day. Some of them just go all day and all night until they get to Tarpon Springs. Uh, I don't know about traveling at night. I, I don't like it. There's so many things out on the water that you can't see. Uh, and uh, it, it to me, uh, in my small boat, one, I didn't have the fuel to go all the way to Tarpon Springs or to... Uh, uh, or to Newport Ritchie, like these guys that have the big engine or the big uh, gas tanks that would carry them that far. So for me, it wasn't an option. Uh, the only the only option I had was to come from Carabelle straight here to Statchahatchee, which is a 70-mile run. Uh, and I had enough fuel to carry, to, to make the crossing here. Uh, but... To anybody else doing the Great Loop, either this year or the next year, hey, you want a great marina to stay at and, and, and overnight or something like that, make it a short crossing from Carabell Instead of going from Carabell to Newport Ritchie or Tarpon Springs, you can shoot 70 miles right here to Statchahatchee. Stay overnight, take off the next day. Or stay a couple of days. I think once you see the marina here, it's very, the the rates are very reasonable, not you know the same as as they were anywhere else. Except, I think you even got a little bit better deal here than than the rest of the marinas where I was at. Uh, the channel is a long, big channel. I mean, it takes you quite a while to be on the channel to get into Statchahatchee, but as long as you stay on that channel, you're fine. You're you're in deep water the whole time. So uh, there's a. 50, 60, 70 footers um, boats out in, in Statchahatchee that come in and out all day long through the channel here. So you'll be fine. Uh, any of you guys on trawlers and stuff that are considering instead of having to make an all day and all night trip across the Gulf, you might want to consider just come down to Statchahatchee. It's a great little place. This little marina here, or not a little marina, but this marina that just opened up, it's brand new. Everything, and, and the people are real friendly. They, as a matter of fact, they said they haven't started advertising yet as far as, you know, trying to get some of the people that are that are on the Great Loop to come here. Uh, but they said once they get, uh, they're still working on, you know, uh, taking care of people and, and, and these boats that they have for rent. Uh, and like I said, uh, at the time, the day I was there, which was on a weekend, they did have those, uh, pontoon boats that I, that you saw earlier for a hundred dollars all day, uh, which is an eight hour run for eight hours. You, it only cost you a hundred dollars plus the fuel. You couldn't beat that. You can take a family of 10, 12 people on one of these pontoon boats, uh, if you split you know, the hundred dollars in the fuel, geez, you're practically paying twenty five, maybe thirty dollars each, and you're gonna have a nice evening because you're gonna be able to enjoy the boat all day. You're not just going out for four hours. Uh you're just not going out for six hours. You you'll be going out the majority of the day, which is eight hours is what they consider a full day. Uh there's plenty of islands. Uh, spoiled islands out here that you can go visit. Uh, there was a couple of them that I really did enjoy going by there. I tried to get close to one of them because it, it was it had a beautiful beach. Uh, but I tried to get close, but it got too shallow. So I ended up having to uh, turn, turn back out and get into deeper water. But even that, I mean, you can see that island right in front of me here. Uh, I'm still on the channel here. You can see the markers. I got to go out all the way out to those markers before I can start turning south and start heading down the coastline. Uh, when I leave here, my next stop is going to be uh, Cedar Key, which is not too far away. And I'll be staying there for uh, probably overnight. Just drop anchor somewhere. If I don't find a, a, a spot to tie up or a dock somewhere to tie up to, I'll just drop anchor. Um, 
Okay, this is the end. Goodbye.